Hi everyone. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning from whenever you're watching this recording from. Today is going to be a particularly um, short session because I'm not really doing much today. All I'm trying to do is to teach us how to uh, change the colors of this candle to what is easily readable. So when you open it for the first time, it doesn't have all of this green and red, uh, you know, let me just open one so you can see what I mean. So when you right click on this one, open chat. I'm going to use the USD chef now for an example. You click, this is what it shows you. you know, first of all, it goes into showing you the bar chart. So we treated the bar chart the other time. Now, we don't use bar chart to read our charts. We particularly use the candlestick, you know. So when you look at that, it gives you these um, candles with white and black with green outlines and then um, um, grid lines, these things are called grid lines, which make this quite difficult to read. But there's a way you can change all of this to your favorite colors, you know, to all the colors that we um, particularly use here in, here in Mike Billions Academy to make it easy for us to read. So the first thing you do is to right click anywhere on the chart, anywhere you right click on the chart, then go to properties. Or you can press F8 as you can see on the, on the, um, uh, you know, uh, right there at the right hand side, you press F8. I'm just gonna do that now. Oops, I was going to use a function, function F8. So it brings that up. So Anyone you want to use does the same thing. So right click, go to properties. And then when that comes in, you would see, um, you see different color scheme here. You know, we have the yellow color scheme just for that. We have the green one, you know, the one we saw earlier, the black and white one. But we don't really need this one, to be honest, really. You can just um, probably stay where you were. Yeah, I think it was on the green and black. Yeah, so this was where it was before. So you could just start your um, editing from here. So the first one on the list, you want your background to be black. You want the background to be black and you want your foreground to be white. Your background meaning this background here, your foreground meaning all of the texts, you know, all of these texts will be white. Then your grid, you want it to be at, at least quite dark. So you come here to click on that, just click on it like this, on this color here, click on that, it will launch this other window. Then you come to custom. You can either make it all black, which means it's gonna, you're not gonna see it at all, or you can just slide this handle here, see this handle? I hope you can see this, okay, hopefully, let me um, bring out this um, um, attenuation annotations. So, so this item here, this thing, so you want to drag it and pull it down, you know, so to maybe it's a much darker color than gray, quite almost black, but not black, so that you can still see, see, you can still see it. You could even make it even darker if you want to, you know, anyhow you want it, but, um, some people like to have the grid lines there to also guide them. So I'd like them to be a bit darker than usual. Now, as you can see, it makes the other colors pop out. Yep, but we're not done yet. So after we finish uh, um, uh, reducing the or making it a bit darker, the grid lines, we go to the bar up. The uh, bar up means the bull candles, the candles that are that are supposed to be the green candles, the bull candles because they are going up. Sorry, um, the outline. Sorry, the bull outlines. You know, if you look at this, this is going up. This is the bar up. They are in. Uh, they are right now. The bar up is um, is green at the moment. That's the outline of this candle. It's going up it's green. So if you change that to, if you let that stay on line like, like, like that, because that's good, or you can change it to green or whatever color you choose to. So that line is fine there. Bar down is this bearish candle, which is the white one, and uh, it has a 
green outline you can see it's still green but we don't want it to be green that color is wanted to be red so you click on that and click red yep as you can see the outline has changed the bull can do that the candle going up with this black now but you want it to be green so the same lime here you change that to lime where is it? it should be lime yep if you mouse over it and leave it you can tell you the color so lime see that is already lime now you want to come to the bear candle bear candle which is the one coming down now the one we initially changed um to red you know the outline was red so now we want the inside to be red as well the same color as the um as the uh, bar down so come here change that to this is red red yes now you already have that there so it's all set up so after that you don't need to set up anything else every other thing should be fine i'll just ask and stop levels uh, volumes and all of that it's all fine those are the only information you need so click ok and then voila it's all done colors have all changed yep but in order for you not to always have to do that over and over again every time you come to this um platform you know to maybe because if you open a search i mean another one now it's gonna have the same thing see the gbp usd that we that we just opened now it has the same thing but we wanted to retain this information so we don't always have to come back to keep doing that so what you need to do is to come to this template this place is called a template click on that and then what you need to do is click on save template save template when you click on save template you will have the list of other templates that are here you can see my one here and create the name of template you want uh, maybe david new template or something you want to call it yep you can click that and then save that stays so it means on your next um chart that you open up what you need to do is just you don't have to come to right click and come here like we did remember what we did before we right clicked and we came here f8 or we press properties you know and it took us there you know we did all of that we changed the part grid we changed the bar up can do to green the green change the bar down can do to red change the bull can do to green the bear can do to red and click okay you don't want to do that over and over again what you want to do is just come here because you've already saved it and then go to here you would see the information on here that's david new template or you can go to load template and then you can find it here so once you do that you can double click to open that up so you have that information so every time you open it there open it you don't need to do any other thing just come here right click i see i know some of you have seen me do that uh, a number of times so come here don't even need to go to load template because it will be here automatically click on that and that solves the problem hope that was helpful if you have any questions let me know thank you